co-founder of KJAG Radio. It is <laughs> it is fantastic to have him on with us today, and uh, he is coming to us live uh, from Israel's seat because Israel's not here. Um, Travis resurfaced. God, what was it? He you resurfaced on Facebook like a couple weeks ago. a couple weeks ago. <laughs> weeks ago you resurfaced and uh you you are the guy that every time that i say hey uh pe people are like well i want to get one of those cool i want to get one of those cool jackets one of those cool kjag jackets how can i get one and i'm like well uh one you can't because <laughs> the company i got them made at they went out of business. They don't exist anymore. And there's only one other person in the world that has one of these KJAG jackets. And they're like, who? And everybody everybody always thinks, okay, it's either uh, uh, my ex-wife, Jamie, or they, they, they go, um, uh, Michael Myers, a.k.a. Shatner. Uh, they think Buddha. Uh, they, they often think of uh, old Stumpy, the chosen one. Um, but no. And they, sometimes people think harder, but no. No, that jacket would have probably been eaten by now or something. Oh, <laughs> However, uh, Travis is the guy that has the other jacket. He's the guy that got the other jacket. Do you still have that jacket? Is that jacket any? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think it got lost in the years. Lost in the transitions yes. from places yes. to places, yes. And... Um, uh, I, I know a lot about that because there's a lot of things that I wish I had here that's in a storage unit in Salina. <laughs> so I just kind of write it off. <laughs> it's like, ah! It's just, <laughs> it's just gone. And so when, like, equipment resurfaces, like when my mom will find equipment, she's like, you know, I found this in your storage unit the other day. Oh, hey, I didn't know that even still existed. That is awesome. <laughs> so I'm glad that uh, we've got that whole thing. Um what the hell have you been up to for oh, <laughs> the last man. several um, years? <laughs> I have been all over the place. I lived in Milwaukee, Wisconsin for a while. Home of the Brewers! <laughs> yes. I <laughs> the Miller Brewery every, yes. every weekend to have free beer. <laughs> and that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> and, uh, let's see. I lived in Manhattan, home of Wildcats. Oh, yes. Yes. For Almost four years, and um, I lived in Emporia, Kansas, for a couple of years, and now I'm back in McPherson. McPherson, Kansas, the, the the good old the, the the great city of McPherson, Kansas, yeah. as I as I like to refer to it on this program. A new hotel. Oh <laughs> wow, where are you getting the hotel at? It's gonna be behind McDonald's. It's a Hampton Inn. They're get, they're gonna put a Hampton Inn yeah. behind McDonald's, <laughs> which is near what is a Red Coach or Slash Perkins or whatever the hell it is. It's Best, Lodge. yeah, Icona Lodge, mm -hmm. and then they've got. Uh, so they're gonna finally put something in that old field that's behind. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Me and. Me and Travis go way back. We have <laughs> there's not enough time in this broadcast to talk about all the crazy crap that we've done over the years. Middle school, way back to middle school. Way back to middle school, where ironically, I think KJ Radio was was the idea was kind of come up with or something. Yeah, it was kind of being brewed. <laughs> it was being brewed. <laughs> It is, a, it is a fabulous day. It is uh, eight minutes after the hour. Thanks for joining us here on Radio Xenu and TalkRadioX.com. Also, KJagRadio.com. And ironically, we have the, uh, it, you, you would think, okay, well, you know, what, 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 what are we doing today? There's no Israel apparently yet. He'll, he'll blow in here. See, what this, what, how this happens is that we'll, we'll, the first hour is never really anything special. The second hour is when everybody I, apparently gets up for the day, and <laughs> things start happening, and all of a sudden, ah, ah i got to get to the radio show. So then all these people burst through the door. So then, ironically, we end up doing always an overtime uh, situation, at least on Radio Xenu and KJAG, because... People can't show up in the first hour, so we just, we're just going to go back and forth. Now, um, 
Travis, what, what, how did you end up in Milwaukee from McPherson? Oh, I, just, I, just, um, <laughs> I like to move around, and I, um, I had a friend that lived up there, and he invited me to come up and, and live with him for a while, so, so I did. Then, winter hit, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> winter hit, and I'm like, nope. When, when you can walk out on Lake Michigan for 100 feet, you know it's cold. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, before... I'm done. <laughs> done. I'm out of here. This is garbage. Uh, ten minutes after the hour, we're going to do this. We're going to take a, a, a smidgen, I always like to say this on The Daily Show, a smidgen of a timeout. And uh, when we come back, we are going to chat uh, with with Travis about all sorts of different things. I, I want to get his, uh, he, is, he has always been sort of a political guy too. So I, I, I will... <laughs> You <laughs> so um I I cannot wait to uh to get his thoughts on uh all the shenanigans that is uh currently going on. So uh we're gonna take a time out and when we come back we will chat with Travis. We are waiting on Israel to get here. Our Libertarian Party candidate from the state of Kansas is gonna call us uh thirty after the hour. Um, Ryan from the Cotillion is going to check in with us at the top of next hour. And maybe, just maybe, Labette Larry from Parsons, Kansas, Labette County, the Labette County Five will join us. And uh, that is that. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be back after this here on the world famous Cheeky Jaguar Experience. AMFM247.com, the best of talk and music 24-7. Pre-recorded talk shows, multiple hour show opportunities are available. Weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly spots are available. You can sell your commercials in your time lock and keep 100% of the earnings. Two-month free trial available March and April of 2014 will cost you absolutely nothing. After that, there's a monthly fee with no term contracts. Show packages start at $150 a month after your free two-month period. We can help you prep your talk show for iHeartRadio if you're not currently on it. We use our top-rated public relations firm to promote your program. We create you a landing page on the website for you to promote the program, current guests, and show news. We can submit your show to iHeartRadio and manage all the ins and outs for you. That's AMFM247.com. That's AMFM247.com. Spark Local is all about promoting local business, startups, talent, and nonprofits. See, we don't let your ads sit around and gather dust. We promote you. www.sparklocal.com and on Twitter at Spark Local. It's no secret that being overweight has become a worldwide epidemic. Being overweight can lead to dramatic increases in diabetes, heart disease, cancer, stroke, arthritis, and depression. Consider the following. 8 out of 10 Americans over the age of 25 are overweight, and 26 million children and adults in the U.S. have diabetes. If you're like millions of others, you've probably tried this diet or that pill, but you never got the results you wanted. In fact, the Centers for Disease Control reports that 95% of all diets and weight loss programs fail. Finally, there is an all-natural healthy solution to help you lose weight. Originally made for diabetics, Plexus Slim and Accelerator taken together, just one time per day, can help you lose the weight. People around the country are experiencing amazing results, and you can too. For more info, go to www.plexuspinkdrinkhealth.com. Are you out of work? Are you looking to make a lot of money on the Internet from the comfort of your home? I have consistently made over $30,000 every month for the past eight years. I have received daily $900 payments, $1,800 payments, $3,000 payments, and even $10,000 payments. It's fun, it's easy, and beginners are desperately needed right now. Sign up today at www.pcm teambuilder.com forward slash coupon Joe and make potentially $30,000 a month just like I did. Again, the website address is www.pcmteambuilder.com forward slash coupon Joe. 
Chevelle returns live in support of La Gargola. Their new album in stores April 1st. Just need a better life. Get a life. Put the killer in the eyes. April 15th, the Cotillion. Doors open at 7 p.m. I would be happy to just do that. It is the world famous Chicky Jaguar Experience, coast to coast and border to border, Sundays live, 2 to 4 Central, 3 to 5 Eastern, 12 to 2 Pacific. Listen to us at RadioZenu.com and KJagRadio.com, 15 minutes after the hour. The old Skype Rooney is up and running at uh, Jiggy Jaguar, J I G G Y J E G U A R. We are about, um, I would say, 15 minutes away from our libertarian party candidate calling us. I don't know. Uh, last week we were supposed to have a libertarian voice from Kansas call us, and they never, ever did. But we'll, we'll take another shot at it and see what happens. You know, that's the thing with the cameras. I'm so used to, well, I shouldn't be used to, because Ross hasn't been doing this program for like two years now. But I was so used to Ross switching the cameras and doing all that crap, and now that i got to do it, Sometimes you just you just never it, it never leaves. Like for instance, we, we get a sh- if we're on UStream right now, you're seeing the couch, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we've got the recliner cam over here, or you just go to Travis, or you go back to me, and it's it, it all works. But um, speaking today with the co-founder of KJag Radio, which is very strange because everybody's always thought KJag was my deal and me only, and I was the one that um, all all the vile. Filth, hatred that spewed from KJ Radio or from me was all me. You can share it with me. <laughs> but <laughs> a lot of the blame for KJ Radio has to go to that guy right there, Travis Harrison. Now, now, not not to say that over the years, Travis has been the one that has made the nasty comments about Thomas Lamb. Has the guy that has the guy that has notified record labels of his plagiarism. Um, has been the guy that um, insulted the sinful sisters in Wichita and called them nothing but um, groupies and tramps. Well. Uh, <laughs> Travis is not the guy who. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to come up with some of the other nonsense I've done over the years. Um, Travis is not behind all of the uh, all of the attacks on Marsha up there with Access TV and Salina. No, that is me and Ross <laughs> all the way, baby, all the way. But Travis is uh, Travis is the guy that designed the logo. That's one thing I think is great is that logo has stood the test of time. Yeah. That thing has been on everything. It has been. On, I've had people come to me and say. Oh, I'll redesign your logo for you. And I'm like, no, I don't think we're gonna do that. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. The, 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 and, and it's and it's on everything. I've got shirts with it. We've got hats. We've got. Uh, well, I think you've got the other hat too, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> so because I know when I got them made, I got the two jackets made, which was me and you. Right. And then I got three hats made, and it was you, me, and someone else got the other hat. And I still don't know who the hell that was. I don't think it was Stump because she didn't wear hats. <laughs> it wasn't um, it wasn't Buddha or Shatner, but someone got another hat. There's another hat floating around somewhere in this world. It's probably a pawn shop somewhere, or not a pawn shop, but a Salvation Army with a KJ. Salvation Army. Goodwill. I'm getting rid of this crap. You know, the last time I was on the show. 
was when you were on Second Street. On Second Street, the old Leon Apartments, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it was> like <laughs> the old Leon Apartments. I remember that was. Two thousand three. Two thousand three. Two thousand four. Wow. Before you, uh, you it was. It was before me and me and the old chosen one. Uh, cut ties, yes, parted ways. Uh, she, let's see, she left March, March of 2004, and then I had a WrestleMania party, and then I left <laughs> and moved back to Big Person. <laughs> now, you, we're going to be talking with our libertarian uh, here in a few, but uh, Travis has always been um, very politically minded. And uh, what do you think of just all the shenanigans going on with uh, just just everything? What 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 do you what do you think about like President Obama and all this stuff? Oh, oh gosh. Well, one thing that I want to talk about is um, I gotta give props to Colorado. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I think they've got the right idea, and um, you know. Now, I think Missouri is talking about doing it. Yeah. So, we're going to be between two states where marijuana is legalized, and I think that's going to cause more problems for Kansas. Yeah. Um, simply because it's going to be illegal here, and there's going to be all the traffic he traffic between states. Oh, yeah. It, I think it, it, we, we'd be, it's not going to happen. <laughs> but it might be within the best interest to just go ahead and legalize it here because federally it's probably going to be done soon enough anyways. Well, yeah. I... Just stop. You give up just, the fight. Just give up the fight. Stop no. the madness. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> It is uh, the Jiggy Jaguar experience each and every Sunday, 21 minutes after the hour, and uh, we are we want to say hello to uh, some of our friends in the uh, chat room over there at Radio Zenu, and also uh, KJagRadio.com is uh, is the place that you're you you want to uh, go and and say hello to us. Um, there is just so much. So I, we don't have all that much time, but there is so much crap going on. Uh, with the history of Travis Iverson <laughs> and James Lowe, a.k.a. Jiggy Jag. Yeah, we don't have enough time for all this. We don't have enough time for all this, so I hope that you can uh, make these trips more often. I Bebop know. up the road every once in a while and, I, and say, <laughs> I do, I want to be, become more involved with... KJ oh, that would be fantastic. And, um, I have, <laughs> that uh, would be fantastic. You recently made me a... Um, a content cr or a a content something. creator. Okay, content creator. On, well, on uh, the Facebook page. Yes. And um, I have been posting a little tidbit. Yes. Um, like I got you all with the who is. One guy responded to that. He was like, is it the guy that likes wearing silly hats? Like, and I responded back. I said, "You'll have to tune in Sunday to find out." <laughs> no, it's not. It's not Ross Long. Ross Ross is uh, is would have to probably be the the he would have to be credited with being the co-founder of um, I would say our UStream live stream stuff and uh, probably. Not not the co-founder of Jiggy Jag TV. The co-founder of Jiggy Jag TV, unfortunately. <laughs> I shouldn't say these things. Uh, co-founder of Jiggy Jag TV, unfortunately. Um, two people. One, uh, or co-founders. Um, Ninja Larry, <laughs> of course, from, uh, from Salina. Hey, Jiggy! Uh, Ninja Larry and uh, Cousin Chris, Duchess Cousin Chris, Chris Schroeder, um, who calls all these people out and they never come? I always think it's we, we had a we had a deal one time we were in um I was telling you the Eddie Money story before we went on right. here. Um, two years before that, cousin Chris used to do a thing on Jiggy Jag TV where he would call out um, various people. He would call out celebrities, and he knew those celebrities would never come, right. but he'd always call them out. Like he'd call out Keith Olbermann. <laughs> <laughs> he'd call out these people. Well, one time he called out Eddie Money. Uh huh. And I posted it on our YouTube page, and then I got a, a thing from YouTube that said, hey, 
Eddie Money's management has said we got to take this down because it's terroristic threat. Terroristic threat. <laughs> so we did this interview with Eddie Money years later, and I, you know, hadn't we hadn't been doing anything with Chris on the TV show or whatever. We got ready to get off his bus, and as we get off his bus, he goes, "Hey, Jiggy, come here, man." And I was like, "Oh, what do you what do you need?" And like. This, this, besides going and seeing Huey Lewis at the State Fair, one of the greatest moments of my life. <laughs> Meeting Eddie Money. <laughs> I'm still going to meet Hall and Oates someday. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I'm going to have to go to a casino or Japan, because that's really where they, all, where they play. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, he tells me, he goes, you know that thing with Chris a couple years ago? I always thought it was funny. And I'm like going... <laughs> so I got off the bus. I'm like, holy shit, he actually seen it. <laughs> so we've had that. And then, let's see, what what are some of the other things that have happened over the years? Um, I've been out of the loop for... You have been out of the loop. A while. A while. <laughs> well, you, I don't know, did you ever, did you ever uh, catch any of my... Uh, my highlights or any or any uh, hear anything about when I was married to Jamie Dara, I, Psycho Sam's uh, sister. I vaguely remember a few <laughs> things <laughs> here and there. <laughs> yes, I heard it through the grapevine. Okay, <laughs> yes, she. Uh, that was a strange, <laughs> strange relationship. Uh, then we had. Uh, let's see. Then I was. I wasn't really married to her. She just lived with me, and then we moved. Then we moved her out on Christmas. Um, Michelle, the hell was her name? Michelle, fuck is her name now? It's probably not that. <laughs> no, no, it's probably not that. It's probably not Michelle. What the fuck is her name? <laughs> Michelle Jenkins, who um, worked at NASBAR as a bartender for a little bit, and then she was a karaoke chick. Uh. I I get I'm the only guy that can do karaoke and get laid. I don't know how that works, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I met Jamie because she was a karaoke host, and I met Michelle because he was a, she was a karaoke host, and um, Michelle and Michelle lived with me for a little bit. I moved her up to Salina, and see this this is the problem that I have, and I need to I need to somehow fix this. I take these women from McPherson. I love. For whatever reason, McPherson, they're all tramps. <laughs> <laughs> they're all tramps. Oh, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> they're all tramps, and so what I do is like I'll I'll get with a girl in McPherson. I'm like, you know, this would be really cool. Let's let's go do something. So we move them. Can't take them out of their environment. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was the problem I had with Stumpy. Was I moved her over here to Hodge? Right. And you took her out of her. I took her out of that habitat. natural habitat. I should just kept her there in McPherson. Yeah. And then you've got uh, Michelle, and she was living there in McPherson, and I packed her up and I moved her to Salina. I yeah, took I, her out of her natural habitat. I'm you, McPherson has Same thing with Jamie. I moved her to Salina. I, I'm saying that McPherson has this um, weird uh, magnetic pull. <laughs> you it just brings there, people back. If you leave there, it says... And somehow, somewhere, they always end up back in. there. Yes. Yeah. So it's a shame. You know, <laughs> it's a shame. <laughs> well, I, I kind of feel that way with... Uh, you know, at some stage of the game, and I don't, I don't think this will ever happen... There will have to be a lot of people that will have to pass away, die, and forget about me. And with the internet, it's not going to happen. <laughs> but I've always, my goal has always been to do the morning show on the McPherson radio station and play golf all day. Hell yeah. That's always been my goal in life. And I don't know if it will ever happen. Probably not. Do you play golf? No. no. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't play golf. <laughs> Although I think it would be really fun to uh, to to do McPherson, do the morning show on McPherson Radio. Give up all this crap. Get rid of all these concerts. Get rid of all these 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 interviews on Sunday. Get rid of this stuff we do during the day. Get rid of get rid of uh, building empires and doing all this crap. Get rid of all that and just play golf all day. And do a morning show on McPherson Radio. On KBBE. I, on KBBE. Oh, yeah. That should be exciting. <laughs> that, is the, that is the topper. 
<laughs> so that's that's always been kind of the goal <laughs> with McPherson Radio and me. But I know it'll never happen because uh, after Bob Hapgood passed away, what was it, 2007, I uh, wrote a really nasty, horrible um, article online about him holding people down. And uh, I said, thank God he's dead. And that made its way around. And people don't like me. Uh, no matter how many concerts for a cause I do and how many TV appearances and suits that I make, I'll never let that down. <laughs> Ironically, though, there is one person, McPherson, they, here comes the professor. He's making his way through. He's getting it in. Yeah, there, there is a ton of shenanigans there with that headphone amp. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm going to totally have to just rewire this whole place at some stage of the game. You know, Jiggy, maybe you could have a, uh, a concert for his time. <laughs> that, that might... Like, have it in McPherson. Have it in McPherson. In front of the radio <laughs> station. <laughs> That's a great idea. Well, we're going to do this. We're going to take one one, uh, one more time out here. How long do you have before you've got a scoop? Okay, well, we'll do this. We are going to take a break. I am going to... Uh,